Hello, my friends in the future listening to this recording. Uh, this is Happy Hour, so make sure you grab a beverage, a water, a beer, something, coffee, while listening to this. Tea, maybe? In this conversation, we don't have anything really on the agenda, but Dark Wayne's Crypto Boy and Fitzroy Jenkin pop up. We talk about stacks. We talk about how to onboard people to NFTs and, you know, Bitcoin, the basics. We'd love to have you in this conversation next time, so please join the Discord, and we'd love to see you in Happy Hour. Thanks for listening. Omo is just through the roof, bro. Yeah, that's real. It's so real. Now that we got Craig in here. If we can, he's now recording, so it's now started. Our our main bot, Craig. There's a bunch of bots going around now that I need to learn about. The guests were doing something really cool. How they were like, you know how Nanish has like shrooms. Well, mm-hmm. the guests are gonna yeah. have pogs. <laughs> They're just like super eighties, nineties themed, and um. The bot is going to like do all the math and take care of all that. So that's something I need to look into. Oh, that's rad. Yeah. Y- yeah, because it's Ooh. less manual labor right. for I everybody. Right. I didn't know about that. Yeah. I'm like, what's happening with all that? That's what we need to know. Dark Wayne's, you're in here. You are obviously welcome to come up and chit chat. Um, we are just hanging. There's nothing on the agenda today just legit hangs i mean if fitzroy jenkins comes in here we can talk about her coffee shop because that's, that's big true news. yeah we gotta is she coming uh you know say oh i'll mess her yeah i don't know yeah that's the that's the thing crypto boys like how do we like get these artists in but like when we get them in we need them to succeed right away otherwise they're gonna be like nah this is whack i'm out Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts. And so I'm like, okay, how do we how do we create a system? How do we set this up where and you see this gamma is doing this a lot now. They're recruiting a bunch of artists. And Dr. Suss, I saw this in some Discord. He was talking about like, yo, we need to like love on these new artists coming in. Because if they don't get no love, they're gonna leave. They're gonna go back to Tezos or Card- Cardano or all these other blockchains. And so I was like, All right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We gotta we gotta show these people some love know that this is also a good space to be in. But also we're at that point now where it's like, we need to start creeping, doing some stacks evangelizing in some other blockchains. Go hang out with people because there are people, there are people everywhere. So that's, that, that's where I'm thinking. That's where I'm at. How do we, how do we get more people? That's, that should be like the mission of everybody in Stacks. Everybody in Stacks should have like, you are there to make excellent projects and to <laughs> uh, like tell as many people as you can to like get people in. How do we get more people in? Whether you're already in NFTs or you're a brand newbie. Because again, it's like having an email address in 1996 or like a website <laughs> in 2000 or a Facebook page, yeah. right? Mm. Uh, oh, you can sell your stuff on Facebook? What? Yes. What are you not doing? Or like TikTok in 2019, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is the place you got to be because it's not going anywhere. Yeah. And I was I was listening to somebody yeah. and, they were, and they were like, um, the word NFT will go away. The word Web3 will go away. And yeah. everything will be like, is it on chain? That's just what everybody's going to ask. Like, oh, that's cool. Is it on chain? Like, oh, because if it's on chain, I can just buy it right here and now and have it, right? Like a Venmo or like a PayPal, if it's easier. Like, I don't carry cash anymore, but if I can, you know, pay via Venmo, it's much easier. It's going to be that same thing. Yeah, yeah, facts. Same thing. We're just so early. Hopefully we can make it. We'll make it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm riding on you guys' coattails. (laughs) <laughs> That's how I'll make it. <laughs> For sure. We'll just make sure we have extra long coattails so you can yeah. bring a bunch now of we friends. Got, yeah, Ooh, now we got the go. pressure. We got to make Crypto Boy, <laughs> Crypto Boy make it, so... <laughs> Hell yeah. We got to make it for sure. I'm down. I am down. <laughs> I am, There's a couple projects that I am super high on. You guys are definitely one of them. Oh... Like I, 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 I get on and I literally like every single one of you guys' YouTube videos. 
like after I watch the podcast, it's crazy. I'm just such a fan. <laughs> Appreciate I mean, that, man. For this sure. last this last episode with with uh, Mel from Theo Petra, like I remember doing the interview, and I was I mean this is public now we're, we're recording, and it was like afterwards I was like, man, did I mess that up? Like, <laughs> did I, I did I connect all the points? Like, is this like all the tokenomic stuff is like over my head? So I'm like, okay, and I'm just trying to break it down, understand, and then as I was going through and putting final touches on the episode, I was like. Oh, a second time around definitely makes more sense. And I can see everything a little bit better. And I'm like, take that step back. And so I'm like, all right, I don't feel so stupid anymore. <laughs> with, the, with, you, with the podcast, do you find it the same way with the art where it's like you'll drop something and you just don't know exactly how the audience is going to react? But you like it. And then when you get the reaction that you expect, you were like, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> But you're shaking the whole time. Like, I wonder if anybody's going to hate this. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. For me, anyway, I think that's, that's definitely real. <laughs> well, especially with our review episodes every, every 10, right? Yeah. Because that's, like, actually us talking. You know, our opinions and what we have to say. Okay. Um, so that's a little... I think, yeah, there's a little more pressure on that one. But so far, people have liked what we've had to say. So... <laughs> Right. So people that if if there's people that don't like it, they haven't said anything. So. <laughs> yeah, they don't I mean, exist. Right. <laughs> and that's the one where I'm like, especially like sharing short pieces on Twitter or wherever. It's like that's the one where I'm like, oh, can I say that? That's a little controversial. I don't want to put that quite publicly, but I know that's what's gonna get the hits. So I'm like, I'm a little confused. What should I do? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's my voice, not giving somebody else's voice. I, I, I try to give as much accolade to a lot of the Twitter, uh, I would say, uh, just kings who are able to just run on there all day, every day. I find that's probably my hardest battle. It's the social part of it. Yeah. I, I, I'm just a tattoo artist. I literally used to just wake, before the blockchain, just wake up, go to work, go home, you know? Mm-hmm. So now to incorporate that into my day, no, that's, it really is tough for me. So that's the biggest battle. And I hear, I hear what you say. I think that's why I say I think what you guys do is it comes off so easy. It might not be so easy, but it just looks so easy. It just rolls off the tongue. Yeah. You guys make it seem so cool. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean that's I have that same struggle because I'm just you know I'm more of an artist. I've been doing the same thing, exactly what you just said. You know, okay. Um, and coming into like. Oh, I have to engage on social. I have to be on Twitter. I have to be in all these different discords. It's not yeah. easy. You know, it's like a hard uh, pivot to make. It's like a hard, I don't know, lifestyle change to make. And like <laughs> Foss, Foss has been the one like holding my feet to the fire, being like, yo, you need to engage more. You need to talk to people more. You need to be in these spaces more. And I'm like, ah, oh, you're right. You're right. You're totally right. Like I need to, I need to work harder at it, but it's just hard. Yeah. It's like an online party, and I want to bring all my friends to the party so they can meet <laughs> other cool people. And right. I know that, like, especially like you guys, y'all as artists, like the only way you're gonna get stuff to sell is if you like talk to people that people want to buy. It's real. So it's like, all right, if I can get y'all's attention, or and, like get other people's attention to focus on what you're doing. But then again, I can't just be the the hype man. Like, I can't be be like, oh, oh, check out his stuff, check out his stuff, check out his stuff, because then I'm a shilling. But if you're in there just chilling, right? Then it's like, oh, what are you doing? What's going on? And then if you right. have like that one piece of just having a conversation in like online, you're like, oh, okay. But I do feel you that it like it feels like another part of your job just to check Discord. Yeah, yeah. There's Agreed. so many of them now. Oh, I know. You know. I'm in like 50 discords. The side yeah. over here is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Because then, yeah. then I'll join one because it's like, oh, join the discord. I'm like, all right, cool. I got to see what's happening. And then it's like, I'm never going to check this again. <laughs> do yeah. I, do I keep it? Do I only keep the ones I have? But then I want to check up on certain things every now and again. Right. There's a bunch I found... that I'm just in and I just leave them there in case. <laughs> it's time happens, to come back you know? to it. Yeah. 
I think that that's with the with the NFT community, with that word community, right? The NFT community, the biggest, I think, hurdle is going to be that Discord, like you said, because I've noticed some wallets that have hundreds, if not thousands, of NFTs from various, various projects. I can't imagine keeping along with every single Discord, right? So it's like every project has to have a Discord just to relate what your guide is, what your goal is, what your roadmap is. I don't know if there's a better way we can resolve this or make it like a one unified Discord where everybody just comes into this one space because we're all on Bitcoin anyway, you know, where it's just like a Bitcoin community and everybody has their own little room or their own little apartment for it. But I, 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 I agree with you guys. The whole hundreds of discords and announcements every day that you want to try to keep up with. And then you have to switch to Twitter. And it's like, it's <laughs> like a spider web, I swear. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're talking about the, the metaverse, as everyone calls Ooh. it. Ooh. Yeah, what I'm is ready. the metaverse? The metaverse, metaverse wins. We are already <laughs> in the metaverse, it feels like. Facts. We're in the audio verse at the moment. The audio mm. verse. <laughs> Fitzy. Yeah. What's she What's doing? Up? Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Weird. Can you the, not uh, hear? Her? Yeah, the speaker went off on my phone. It was suspicious. Booty. Don't be suspicious. Hey, Dark Wayne's. Yeah, he's just hanging out. It's chilling. chilling. Just been chilling. Chilling. So, uh, how'd the coffee shop go today? Oh, Dark Wayne's wants to speak. Let him in. Let him in. Yeah, Fitz, how was the shop? Did you go? It went well. Um, there was probably like six or seven people came through today again. So it's been super consistent the last three days, which is nice. That's cool. Yeah, the uh, the infamous uh, health inspector, though, is what? like, yeah, it's it's happening. So I think I'm going to have to navigate that one thanks how'd they hear about you um well they haven't yet so the um there's like one guy who just holds all the cards the health and in- main like health inspector yeah and apparently if you get on his bad side he is notorious for just shutting places down oh my gosh and that's what happened to um metal arc coffee shop yeah and right. so we're trying to go just like super submissive like hey like tell us whatever you, whatever you need right so i think i might not sell anything next week i don't know we'll see ooh yeah yeah, yeah. stealthy i like it it's like yep. the like the uh, speakeasy of coffee shops. Yeah, so. Are you going to give away coffee? <laughs> I don't know. I actually thought about today because I was like, shit, all those beans are going to go stale, so I have to get rid of them. Hey, got to roll but, through and get some coffee. Yeah, I'll definitely, definitely let you guys know if I do. Sick. This is so weird that it won't let me be on speaker or like speaker mode on this thing on my phone. Oh, really? What do you mean? Yeah, the, fo- the phone's kind of weird. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, it does me that way. Yeah, isn't that odd? Yeah. Well, how does it feel to like have it open the shop? Um, it feels very surreal. Super fun. Um, I get stressed sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) 
But, uh, like, I did have the thought, like, I think there was, like, three people waiting on a coffee today at one point, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm a little nervous. And it's just you, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, but other than that, it feels super nice. Um, it feels, yeah, it just feels like, oh, this is what it is, or, like, what it's always been, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. I'll probably feel way more comfy about it all when. I have that permit, but I have, that's just going to be such a bitch. Yeah. Freaking. Yeah, I've I've looked into those food food license permits. Gosh, they're like yeah. no joke, dude. But a lot of the time, the people are like really cool, and they're like, "Hey, this is exactly what you need. Here's the list. Here's where yeah. you can buy it. Go get it." It's just crazy how it. it's like. Because I was talking to Harvest Catering about them and they were like yeah we kind of were on their bad side for a second so we just were like what it's just like such an alpha move like they have all the power and it's like you have to just stroke the ego <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Oh, it's so gross i'm just like tell them here look this three compartment sink is fine now leave me alone <laughs> yeah but Hopefully soon. Cool. I'm bummed about freaking Minotauri. Right. Yeah. Hey, what's oh, up? What up Hello. Good. Thanks right. for joining How are you us doing? tonight. Right, when... Yeah, pleasure. So what are we talking I about? we're just shooting the shit. Yeah, we're just talking about anything. <laughs> that's cool yeah. yeah if you got any juicy news for us spill the beans juicy I don't know if it's juicy but uh, I don't know if you have seen the like the I think it's the latest part of um, uh, uh, oh help me um, shit what's his name again uh Twitter oh. founder, so uh, oh, yeah, the Jack that. Dorsey. Um, Jack, Jack, yeah. I don't know if you have seen he posts oh, something about just web skipping five. four, just go straight to five. He has what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, like he made um, a Google Doc. It's public. You can see it. I, I like uh, read it, and it's like he want to build like a uh, decentralized internet so it's very interesting uh, i don't know how it's realistic because we have a lot of uh, expectancies and i think in like new web3 crypto world and nft we have achieved uh, less than a percent that we have said that so uh yeah check check i i think i can like drop you the link and you will just have access to the doc yeah i think i think what he's going for i thought i found a an article from coindesk yeah yeah he basically, okay cool. <laughs> well okay he's not liked web3 for a while um basically because it's how how in bed everybody is with the VCs at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, because yeah, sure. He is, but he, he's one, he's I guess one he can say them. that then, because he is one. <laughs> yeah, that's funny when they say, like, not for VC. Basically, you are one of yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> and he's a big Bitcoin guy. Like, I wouldn't say a maxi, but he's, yeah. he's pretty much there. Um. Yeah, yeah. And I was wondering how is tax, a blockchain like tax, can profit mm -hmm. from that? Because if it's built on Bitcoin, uh, normally tax should get his share, its share. So I don't know if like they have something to run about, but. Uh, in my opinion, everything that built on, built on Bitcoin, stacks should be involved. 
Mm. Like now I have these things, I, I don't say stacks NFTs, I say Bitcoin NFTs. <laughs> when you want to like onboard people or like just uh, describe what the blockchain about, it's always like more the hook. It's always better if you say Bitcoin NFTs and then you explain how that yeah, works. Yeah, because Web3 was technically coined by Ethereum, right? Ethereum is the biggest liquidity holder of NFTs. Um, yeah. There's more money in that. And I think, I think Jack is kind of fighting back against Ethereum almost with what he's, what he's trying to do. Yeah. Um, because some, I think for 99% of uh, every Bitcoin holder, it's in right. an investment. So uh, it's not something you can use daily, like to trade NFT, to use DeFi, or to, to build on the blockchain. Ethereum is far, far away uh, in terms of the uh, building on the blockchain and NFTs and everything. So I don't know how Bitcoin can compete. compete well, that's uh, even what with we're seeing this. with stacks, right? Like when I buy Bitcoin, no offense to stacks, but I'm buying it to a hold, right? Like a, like a savings account. Right? Yeah. Or if I would buy bonds or something. Yeah. Like I'm putting it away knowing that one day it's going to go to 100 K right, like <laughs> knowing it's going to happen eventually. <laughs> so, and that's what we're using it for. But when I buy Ethereum, I'm I'm buying it to flip NFTs or to use certain DeFi protocols. Um, like when I buy Stacks, I'm I'm buying Stacks to buy NFTs um, that are so like oh. I don't know. And that's the question because I know when I'm talking to normal people who like are on Facebook still um, that, that when I talk about, right, right, right. When that I talk, exists. We talk about blockchain <laughs> and, like, and I'm like, oh, Bitcoin. And they're like, oh yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. Um, whereas if I'm talking about yeah. Ethereum or Tezos or Solana, it's just, I just get blank stares, but everybody knows what Bitcoin is. So I think Stacks is set up really well, you know, mm -hmm. like, have your digital assets secured on the most secure blockchain. Um, it is, at the end, Stacks is just the gas you kind of use to get there. I don't know. It's interesting. I know there's a big Stacks consensus is happening right now, and that's in Austin. I know there's a bunch of Stacks people there trying to spread the good word. <laughs> yeah, Jack Dorsey. So funny. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I think they they, ha they need to invest mm. more on education. Um, you, you know, um, maybe you have seen this. If you're old enough on the uh, crypto world, everything that has been built on Ethereum uh, has been built by people uh, who were not involved in building Ethereum blockchain. But Stacks is kind of different because everything that has been built on Stacks has been built by uh, the same person that has built the blockchain. I don't know if you see the difference. So in one way, you have Ethereum and people took the opportunity that they have with the blockchain, example, MetaMask uh, right. or even Ganache, those are like, um, all, they are not the same person that has built the Ethereum blockchain that has been involved. They saw an opportunity, okay, I'm trying to build a wallet, MetaMask, Ganache, and everything like this. But on Stacks, it's kind of different because Hero and Stacks and everything is linked. So it has not been adopted yet by the population, by the crypto owner and stuff because they are not right. building yet on yeah, Stacks. Yeah, that's a really good point. Now they are. I see. 
Yeah, I think they are starting with uh -huh. these tax events, ventures. So we'll see how it's going with this, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> let's see. But it, it's a big um, difference and it shows you the interest of uh, people uh, about the yeah, blockchain. Yeah, yeah. There is something like, and that's what I feel at Stacks. It feels like it's all the same people building. And like when you think about when Facebook first got started, right? It's, yeah. It got big because like, the people building Facebook weren't making content anymore, right? People like you and me were posting our photos from drunk yeah. college parties or something, right? So that and like and that user generated yeah. content uh, allowed everything to grow at a much rapid pace, right? It's a network effect that everybody talks about in tech. And Stack has Stacks hasn't hit that yet, but you made up a great point that Ethereum has, right? None of the no. people building apps or DApps on on Ethereum, right? Are ever built the built the chain? Yeah. So, how can we? That's that's what Stacks is trying to do, right? How do you how do you attract developers to make amazing products that would get more users and yada yada yada? Uh, I may have one of the answer. I don't think it's the answer, but um, Stacks is like uh, devs mm -hmm. built for devs. You know, it's a devs built for devs things. Uh, it, Ethereum is like devs built for um, everyone because, as you said, like it's easy to go on OpenSea and buy your NFT or post your NFT. Now it's also easy on Stacks. Uh, but uh, I think when they do develop something, uh, they don't have enough. Uh, the V is a marketing vision. Like, uh, how we can reach more people with this uh, utility. Is this um, easy to use for Normi or everything like this, you know? So I think we have to think more about this kind of things. How um, will the experience be, uh, will be um, fun enough, easy enough mm -hmm. to get attraction? You, I, I think we all made... Um, uh, a mind or purchase on open seas on nft open seas so you've seen it really easy like to boot on to click and a uh, second later you have your nft on stacks is still like kind of difficult to reach that uh, maybe next year we'll have hyper chain so our chain link and it will be much more easier but from now uh it's like kind of hard to get people because we are we are, we are not the funniest chain, not the fastest, and people don't care about security. <laughs> so <laughs> we have to find yeah, something really, to attract. You should really talk to Jack Dorsey. To right, I'm going to read from this article real fast. <laughs> you brought up because you know it says perfectly what we're trying what we're talking about here, <laughs> and what Stacks is already doing. Right? Okay. So quote uh, Web five like Web three, right? And then he's calling Web 5 because it's Web 2 plus Web 3 equals Web 5. That's why uh, he did that. Okay. Yeah. He's using math. Yeah. He's crazy like that. <laughs> All right. So Web 5 will enable users to interact with one another without intermediaries. This, in theory, means no threat from government censors or centralized services, outages, among other supposed advantages. Right? We already talked about, like, cycles kind of do something like that. We're already in that kind of sphere. All right. So continuing. Similar to other attempts to create a decentralized layer on top of the web, Web5 will aim to provide users with a, quote, decentralized identity, allowing them to seamlessly move from application to application without needing to explicitly log in. User data, rather than getting stored with a third party, product services will be controlled by the users and only be exposed with their permission. Does that not sound like what console is doing and what we've been talking about? With that, like just, a... that, that sounds like what everyone's been just saying Web3 is. Yes, but right. He just Same. Came up with a new term to it be is. incendiary and like, <laughs> get clicks. Hundred percent. That's just Web three. That's what everyone wants. But, but, <laughs> so, I don't know. That's yeah. But Ravion, you know, it's the world print. It's like he markets this. He does like the marketing, and now people think, oh, it's something new. I have right. to. I want to use this. But mm -hmm. on Stacks, we haven't done that. Because we already have, like you said, Seagull, Console.io, and everything like this. But it's not like 
we don't have the marketing view to tell people it's, it's something very sexy, uh, secure. So uh, people feel about, yeah, I want to use it. People already want to use Web5 from Jack Dorsey, but it doesn't exist yet. But they don't right. know about console yeah. or Sigil, you know? Get, like, <laughs> so. I'm interested in console, obviously. So I'm going to, when Crash Punks find me go in, I'm going to get in there and like, because that's another another step we need to talk about is decentralized identity. Because one of my big things is is like, I want to be control mm -hmm. of my own data, right? Because right now, the big tech companies yeah. are, your your data is worth more than oil and gold combined. So... Yeah. Yeah, if Uber is valuated at uh, multi billion uh, dollar, it's only right. because and of And I feel data. like those those companies <laughs> so. know more about me than I know about me. And it's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm all for that. And so I want to test out console and I mean it's another extra step, unfortunately, rally on that we'd have to like educate people on. Um, <laughs> right. Right. Which is just another hurdle. Yeah. I'm like, crap, this was hard enough to get them to install a wallet. It's even harder to say, like, all right, I'm glad you got your wallet, and here's your NFT, but it, to really get in, I need you to get a BTC name, which is your wallet. Like, uh, you know, you know, Hero, if you're... This is a big yeah, thing. I feel BTC like, all right, Hero, name. here's, here's <laughs> free marketing for you. Just yeah. plug it into the app. Just plug right. it into... When you get it, it's like, oh, it's like one button for two stacks more register your name right boom one extra click so i'm gonna send this mm. to them and they're gonna listen yep. to that like times they need to pay for that you need to get paid for that one that's <laughs> it, it, it's easy like that's how they get me into the sales to like the sales funnels right when right. i'm going through the stuff to like ooh, get this free course to learn how you can learn, lose 35 pounds and 35 percent of your body right. fat and i was like whoa yeah yeah, yeah. and then you're like clicking through it and you're like Buy for ten extra dollars, you can get the resistance bands. I'm fucking in. Yeah, you know, for for thirty extra dollars, you can get the packet that you can print online. Oh, I'm I'm in. Like, I don't know. But th this this can be done. But uh, you've seen the experience to buy the BTC name. It's not very like fun. It's not easy. It's a two step experience. So you have to wait. Um, at least 30 minutes because first you have to pre order then to register the name. It's not easy and like um, the EU ex experience is not very good for the BTC name. But this is a good marketing, having a BTC name. Basically, every yeah. Bitcoin holder should have one. I do. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And uh, we have to make it more easy and also to link the BTC name mm -hmm. to the BTC address because it's a BTC name, not a stack right. name. So there is still, yeah, some things to um, uh, improve on the BTC name. But yeah, it's a good uh, a good step to to get people on board on uh, blockchain, the real block, real usage right. of blockchain that you can have with Bitcoin. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So here's a here's a stupid question. Um, that I I've just those. never thought to ask. Um, so I have my hero wallet, right? And there's at some point I saw there's like also a Bitcoin address associated with that wallet. How does that work? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, I so know. I have the same <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> we all have the same question, I think. And even in Xverse, when you do um, the, uh, when you open a new wallet, you have um, a BTC address. But I don't know if this address can be like usable on another right. um, But I'm like, can I buy, you know, Bitcoin proper and put it in my hero wallet? If not, why not? <laughs> I'm not sure you can. And you have a point because normally on Gamma or Byzantium, everyone uh, should be able to buy right. some NFTs right. with Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah, you have to like get some Satoshis and you buy, um, I don't know, a Marbling, a Master, a Crash Prank. I don't know, but 
you, you should do that. <laughs> if stocks is a gas, you should right. uh, be able I mean, to if pay I can, with Bitcoin. Yeah, if I but can. You have mint, a good question. You know, my uh, NFT with a couple different options, right? Like, like with Minatory. I got the Minatory that I got with bananas, yeah. right? That was cool. And that was that was a fun experience yeah. to be able to do that. But like it should be the same thing. You yeah. know, it's like buy for 60 stacks or 82 banana or 0. 0.00000007 Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that should be possible too or yeah. at least it seems yeah, yeah. Like it should be possible. And I think you're onto something because I think they are like working on it. Like dark winds, you had like mentioned hyper hyper chains, and they're I I hundred percent. I know that the team over at Hero and Trust Machines are thinking about how they do that. But they it's it's like we were talking about before we started recording. Like you can't you have to have all your dominoes lined up before you push the first one over. Yeah. Um, to create the effect, to create the buzz you need to build what you everything you, you can. And I mean, OpenSea has been around for three years. Obviously they didn't get big till the last one. So Stacks is still just over a year old. So in the next two, three years, as more adoption comes, as you know, once the bull market comes back, I think they might be primed with things like Rider <laughs> and some other stuff to like take off. But who knows? But you're absolutely right. You should be able to pay in Bitcoin. And I think that's what that's what Obsidian alluded to in our very, very oh. first episode. Yeah, and also um I don't know if you remember, but Stax did um, an upgrade when the, um, um, I don't know if you remember, but the miner were not uh, uh, accepting every transaction. And you always had some block uh, which were not filled completely. So that's why we have the struggle with the mempool and you had a lot of transactions that not going through. And we have not seen this before we had like a uh, huge mines. Uh, the Mega Pond mines, uh, Bitcoin Monkeys, and every other mine that has uh, occurred like uh, last year were a big struggle. So imagine um, also having like a few hundred transaction uh, making your blockchain uh, full and buddy it's not something helpful to to accept the growth because let's say we we had like uh, 1000 people coming on the blockchain now 10000 coming on stacks i don't think we can support this amount right. of people coming That's on also the blockchain. a good point so yeah so that's why when i was saying it's dev built for devs because they were not anticipating this kind of things and not, uh, and the builder, like, uh, Yinho Wallet and everything was built from, uh, the same person that has built the chain. So they were not talking with the guys developing like some NFT project and everything. So you cannot, uh, see the uh, problem and the challenge that you want to solve. So you talk about uh, Chainlink and Hyperchain, but this is not coming before next year. So <laughs> I don't know until then how it's going to be, if we will see some uh, little improvement, and I hope so. But uh, let's see. Yeah. I th big things coming. Always big things coming. Yeah. Just... But if you, th if like, do you Always. think <laughs> if just a ton of people showed up, just found out about Stacks and showed up, that they wouldn't hustle harder to get it out faster? Good you know what I mean? question. I don't know. This is kind of like odds. When you are a company like Stax, it's a multi-million company. So I think they have uh, planned this. What I'm saying is not they haven't planned this, but maybe uh, the sizing uh was not adapted to what uh what is gonna come 
because on my opinion, normally when you have a mind coming on the chain, you shouldn't have the network being like uh, stacks. It's only one mind. Imagine if you have two minds on the same day. Uh, today you have like the um, mem the uh, what's it again? I think it's uh, the guy from the CityCon. Yeah. So every while, uh, every once in a while, they like uh, close the. Uh, the round, and so there is a lot of exits, and the blockchain is, is stuck. Like, I don't think it's healthy because uh, we are accepting this because we have a bunch of DJ. But if you bring something new and someone new used to, uh, I don't know, Solana or Ethereum, he will not maybe stay much longer in a new blockchain. See, that's just sad. Because it's slow, you think? Because, like, yeah, I mean, just because it's like not as fast. Yeah, I think um, 99 percent of time it's okay, but if you faced a uh, uh, mind, uh, if you are in a mind day or something another day, and you are not lucky, your transaction could basically stay stuck in the uh, chain for yeah, two days. <laughs> so. I think it's kind you of... You experienced that, Raleigh. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it happened with my uh, my Wasteland ape. Took two days. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. But I didn't. I also didn't know what a transaction fee was at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, didn't know that I could like raise the raise the fee, to, like get it get it faster. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what I mean is uh, not every everybody has like right. are like us because we accept the fact that um, stacks is still early, uh, so the blockchain has a lot of improvement uh, that will be done, and we say we all hope that at the end of the year the chain will have another face. But uh, you know, for uh, for Normi, he don't see, uh, no. he don't care about this. All he cares about is the experience. Uh, did he wait? <laughs> did he pay a lot? Or and even people on Ethereum, they are ready to pay a lot of gas. I'm not understanding this point, but <laughs> there are still people ready to do that. So I think this is something that we have to focus about the experience. It's all about this. When you go to your shop, yeah. It's all about the experience. Did you say hello? Uh, did you wait? Can you pay by card, by cash, or something? And then you come back because the experience was great. Yeah. Yeah, it is about the experience. We're still working mm. on how to do that. How to make the best experience all around. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all about the experience. And we already have the best blockchain. On the wall, so it's secured by Bitcoin. So this print is like it's done. We don't have to think about that That's anymore. True. Because at least you know it's going to be there for you. Which, which is the whole thing, like of um, mm. when you're when you're buying a digital asset, you want to know it's going to, it's not going to disappear on you. Yeah. No loans. Yeah, because you you have a <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, crypto boy. I, I'm. It's I'm good stuff. Though. Lot, it's good so... stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I was saying. I I gave you the Olymp yeah I give you the Olymp Olympic flame. <laughs> Pass so the torch. Please, please. I'm I'm on the actual, <laughs> I'm actually on the way to the yeah. uh, tattoo shop now. I have an appointment in like 20 minutes. So I've been all I've been great to just sit back and enjoy your speech. And it seems like you have a lot more important things to talk about than me. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm just here for the fun. No, <laughs> but no, I I do agree. Well, like, I think we all fun. agree with that, right? Like. The whole thing with stacks being on Bitcoin, it's like how the airdrop crew uh, kind of denounces where when you want to release something, you want to do it in proper order. And I think mm -hmm. 
even though Ethereum just spiked so hard, it wasn't the proper order. They had the fame before the stability, before the full stability, where Bitcoin has the full stability before the fame. So anything that comes after, it's all it's all go now. You know, we don't we don't have to worry about a mm. fail. We don't have to worry about a fail safe. We don't have to worry about uh no faulty floors. We we're yeah. good to go. Like like um like you said, you can buy something now and in a decade from now, you know you're safe. You're, that's still going to be there. It's still going to be secure. So just having that knowledge, just knowing that, that's going to help bring them on. But like you said, if we can, if we can make just the experience a little bit more smoother, uh, more, 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 um, how can I explain? Just, just, and keep these fees where they're at. Man, I don't, I don't see how anyone can compete, right? Right. I think just making it easy. Yeah. That th this is the thing that I like about stacks is it's pretty easy to understand, um, compared to other things that I've seen. Or maybe it's just because I've got started started in stacks. But I feel like if we can make things easy to understand and yeah, keep the the fees and stuff in check and and accessible. Um, that's going to make a huge difference, you know, cause you, yeah, sure. Sorry, go ahead. But no, sorry, go. Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying, um, even if you have the best blockchain and, uh, the best experience, if you don't have a uh, utility projects, uh, that, uh, that are being built on, it will worth nothing. And, uh, my, I think like stacks is already, as you said, easy to use. I, I think it could be more easier, but the problem is we don't have a lot of projects. There is not much project. I don't know if you have reached like a uh, hundred projects on stacks, but, um, or still like, uh, let's say 20 uh, projects still working on stacks. Uh, that's the thing also we don't have a lot of things uh, to propose on stacks if you come on stacks you only have few options like the nft blue chip project they had been few mines uh, between uh, may and june so but besides this there is not much to to look right. up on stacks well, yeah I'm and i'm mean... counting my discords right now seeing how many projects are on stacks. <laughs> yeah i mean I'm looking at like on uh, Byzantium, <laughs> it just has a thing of collections, you know, um, and oh. <laughs> there's there's definitely more than a hundred, but also like how many of these are real and still around and doing things. Um, yeah, like the, the latest transaction that has been made on a project. I think it's a good uh, indicator. Um, yeah. Setting, uh, yeah, indicator. Sorry, to see if the right. project is still alive. Wow, yeah. if that was really true, we would RIP a lot of projects. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that is a good indicator, though. Are you still? And I don't know, right? Some people want to hold, and you hold on forever. And some people want to flip, and some people. Yeah, be... I don't know. Are you getting? How are you getting new people in? It should always be a thing. Yeah, let, let's mm -hmm. let's take uh, Mega. It's a very good project, the blue chip on stacks. Uh, but what are you going to say to someone to convince someone to get a, an ape? Well, there's this yeah. party in New York. Uh -huh. Yeah, that you, if you want to go to. <laughs> Man, I live in Paris. That's, uh, no, that's, that's legit. What I'm thinking. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but it's a good point. So, so like if I were in New York, I'd, I would really gladly enjoy the party. But I mean, the entry price, it's kind of huge. And it's difficult to convert someone to get this because you will tell him. And that is true because Mega uh, is building. They are doing a lot of things. But... There is not yet a real utility. Right. Okay, I got a question. Since Crash Punks are using your PFPs, 
what would you if if you're got if you're somebody new yeah. <laughs> right coming in you're like oh no you got to get on stacks nfts how do you how do you sell crash punks I don't know, and this is the same for Mega. Uh, I think it, I I bought both of projects, but just because uh, <laughs> I'm stupid, I think, and I like I like I like, you know, I like uh, the uh, the I like I'm a gambler actually. I play poker and I like <laughs> so, but also Dark, I like yeah. technology. So I love the, that. Dark Wayne's your point. friendly DJ. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that, that is true because uh, from now we're mm. all expecting something we don't have uh, because all of the project saying that you're gonna get this, get this. Yeah, we're waiting, we're expecting, and I think it's a lot of trust from our side because we bought something uh, before getting uh, something, and I think we it's kind of new from. And it's showing that our uh, generation uh, don't buy as the same as uh, uh, the past generation. But the thing is, we all, we all hope for something. And I think we have to focus from now uh, more about community and to um, show the artistic point, community, what it can get you in real life, because the, all the uh, promises from metaverses and everything, you know, maybe it will vanish next year. We don't know because, of, in my opinion, metaverse will not be a thing in right. about five or ten years. I don't know wow. what you think about, but yeah, <laughs> it's like buying a cow to eat the meat in ten years. Right. Yeah. With any. So we have bought it because the entry price was okay. I think when mine price was like okay, if you had a few bucks and you could put and bet on it, and the experience, my thing, it was new. So I think we all jump on it from for that. But now I'm not waiting for any project about utility because we've seen like it's a beer market. Every Discord is like a mm -hmm. silent room. <laughs> so, it's yeah, and uh, it can. If we were VCs, mm -hmm. we would never accept this. But think about it: we kind of VCs because you uh, gave money uh, to a project to build something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get the pitchforks out. Let's yeah, go man. get them. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Like, how can we? How can we create a space? Right. We. This is. What you're saying is fantastic and excellent, and I agree with a lot of what you're saying here. How do we, for airdrop, critique time, da da da, da. how can we create a space where now you want to come in? And granted, we don't, we're not selling FTs at the moment. Like, there's, we're not trying to get you to buy anything. If anything, mm -hmm. we're just, we're trying to get you to hang out with us um, as we all learn together because. I mean, even in this conversation, Dark Wings, I've like learned a lot from you talking, and it, and it's good to have these conversations. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, yeah. thanks. But you know, in my opinion, I don't know if it's the point, the case yet, but you should be like uh, financially supported. You think we should be? Stars. Wow, thank I you. I don't know if it's the case. Yeah. Because you are you are speaking directly. Yeah, those, to those the are our people. And all of the guys from yeah, and all of the guys from Stacks are all devs, you know. So they can't easily speak to normies having this conversation because they will have the engineer mind and mindset. Maybe not the most smart way to explain uh, what is uh, NFT to someone. And I love the episode on airdrop so what uh, i think you always always ask this question what is nft uh, if you um would have to explain to your grandmother mm -hmm. or to your nephew so it's good so basically star stacks and if you as a blockchain should focus on that how we address to know it because they will be the user the final you know the end user they will be using uh, your application uh, alex 
our console on everything. If you only have dev using your solution, you won't go. You won't go far. So I don't know. You should ask. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna money. cut up this clip <laughs> and put it in our pitch deck to stack. By the way, <laughs> if you want to sponsor Airdrop Show, yeah. this would be a great way to do it. Yeah, well, that'd I mean, be nice. Yeah. Oh, well, think thinking. about it. Like, wh why do why do brand pay million to uh, to get some influence? Right, they're trying to get more people, and that's our next. That's our next like move, right? Yeah. Mm. Because brand, brand, even if they pay a lot mm -hmm. for marketing, they can't do that. Even if they want to direct address marketing, we and we see that uh, our generation is all about that. You can't directly address someone. You have to get through someone. A personalities that are being liked, uh, someone else, or you know, actor or everything. And then if you pay him and he just like explain, he go on TikTok and I, I you know, I don't, I'm not sure like uh, so, somebody d have already done a TikTok about stacks or blockchain, you know. And all of the um, normies are on TikTok, Instagram, and everything, Spotify. I share, by the way, you. you Spotify to some people uh, in Dakar, and they really like it. But you, you see, at that point, you have to talk directly yeah. to, to the people. And not, not Mooney, but Tio can do this, I think. Even if they are very smart, they are smart in their way. But you guys, you are smart yeah, in your way yeah. also. I'm, thanks, Thank man. you. I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I would even be down. Make him seen, sign I would even check. be down if oh, you yeah. guys were to do some uh, individual sponsoring uh, for your shows or something like that. Maybe let you, uh, we can send you some stacks or some NFTs or something. And you'd be like, all right, you know, today's show is sponsored by Crypto Boy. You know, he sent this one oh, stack, man. so that's it. Like a, like a donation <laughs> kind of yeah. thing? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's cool because you are doing a job and you have to be paid for that. And your job is not just about being paid, but you will get. I, I don't know, but you can do the calculation. But I'm sure there is people that have listened to airdrop and okay, then jump is, on that. And fortunately, you can convert. We wrap up because we've hit like the hour. But this is you've sparked an idea, Crypto Boy. Now, because <laughs> how do Again, now this is recorded too, so oh no, you have to listen a whole hour before you get to this point. <laughs> but I like the idea of sponsored something, right? And then we airdrop NFTs. So if you were to send us a bunch of NFTs, we could just airdrop them to the community, right? Because in the name, and we'd have to find a giveaway mechanism to do that. But I like what you're thinking there. Yeah, that'd be cool. We have to work on that. Like, yeah, because then it's like you can invest. You can invest in us whatever well, cool. you want, and that's up right. to you. Um, however much value you've gotten from us, you can choose. Yeah, to to support us, but like man, you 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 just talked about. Oh, sorry. Go no, go. No, it's just like we don't we don't ever we're like not trying to sell anything at least like not yet because that's not what we're trying to do for our community. We're just trying to like, how can right. we bring as much value to people as possible without asking for anything in return? You know, um, that's where we're at as a, as yeah. a show or as a company or whatever you want to call it. It's like, how do we bring as much value as possible before we ever ask for anything? But Except if you want cool... to give a five-star rating on a review on a podcast. That's right, right, exactly. But like, that's free, you know? And I don't know, there's some, there is something cool about like, Hey, also, if you wanted to, it's like every podcast ever has like a Patreon that they, you know, their community can go and support them. Um, we just haven't done anything like that or even thought about it. Like I haven't yeah. really thought about that as a possibility at all with airdrop. So it's interesting. Hmm. About it was just off of Maybe support. Maybe like you could, you spoke about Minotauri. Wait, wait, wait. Crypto boy go first. No, go crypto. Oh, yeah, go crypto, boy. What are you saying, boss?
he, he he's um, making the transaction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Airdrop, airdrop show dot BTC. That's it. That's actually sorry, yeah. <laughs> coming in yeah, from was... Tony. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah. No, I was saying that um, the the idea that it just came about just because of support, right? I was just thinking about how can we support you and the crew the same way that you support us. You know, you help us with sales. You help yeah. us with guidance with projects. You help us with guidance in community. And you like with Wayne, he's helping us with guidance and. Yeah, and yeah. just the crypto world and all of that. How can we help you guys back? You know, and like you said, until you drop that project, which I am, I'm going to be the first one to buy anything you guys drop. But until then, how can we, you know, drop some funds in your bucket also to help that out? We got to think about it because yeah. I, the number one thing is I don't want it to be sketchy at all. I don't want it to be shisty yeah. at all. You know what I mean? Right. Um, and, is definitely it would have to be like the people who are engaging with us directly active in the community would be able to do that you know what i mean because i don't want to be on the on the i don't know well we yeah we just have to talk about it because we got to make it not sketchy everything we're doing we're like how can we make it as as not sketchy as possible and just really valuable to people like that's really what we're trying to do but it's it's we're we're gonna have to go have a meeting and talk about it, you know. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's a good thought. We, we appreciate the support, and when we do want something, I mean, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rally the team right. in the community to be like, and most, and I think, yeah, when we when we do give away something or we do like put out a project, it won't be technically for us. It's gonna be for the community. Yeah. And how can we help the community first and foremost? Because without that, without the community, we are nothing. So yeah. it's a how can we support you here? And once we get the yeah. network effect going where there's enough people, the thing will just take off. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone here in this happy hour right now has uh, the OG status. So you're going to hear about whatever we do first. You know? Mm -hmm. So. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Yeah. Uh, Crypto Boy, have fun tattooing. Yeah. Well Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, show us. Definitely will. I'll post up and let you guys check it out so you can tell me how bad it is. Okay. Okay, for sure. <laughs> cool. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha Dark Wayne, thank you so much for hanging out and just like hey, hang yeah, just talking with us. You're yeah, such a it was cool. beacon of light in this community. Not just because your PFP has light rating out of its head, but just who you are. And it's uh it's I don't know. It's a we're honored that you're hanging out with us. At, being a part of the airdrop crew. Oh, that, that, yeah, that's cool. And I love hanging out here. Even if I don't do it like as much as I can, as much as I would. But yeah, lovely, lovely yeah. to chat with you it's guys. So good. All right. Well, everyone, um, see you next week and happy hour. All right. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>